The perfect brunch or breakfast for me has a really great balance of sweet and savory. So let's make some waffles, eggs, and bacon together. So the bacon I'm using guys, I got it from the Whispering Meadows Family Farms right here in Ontario. I love a good bacon that I can actually pronounce the ingredients, like simple ingredients and it's a maple flavored. So for the bacon, what I like to do is get it in the oven. So I put a wire rack on top of the cookie sheet and of course I put some parchment paper under there just to help with that grease that's going to drip off. Then all I do is I just lay the bacon on the wire rack. The bacon I got, it's a little thicker than the regular one that I'd use. So I'm going to do 375 degrees Fahrenheit in the oven and I'll just flip the bacon occasionally just to make sure it's cooked evenly. Usually 375 you could cook the bacon within like 20 minutes but these are kind of thick so I think I might have to you know keep them in a little longer but 375 degrees Fahrenheit is good for getting that juicy chewy bacon with the perfectly crispy edges. For the eggs, I got these from the Whispering Meadows Family Farms as well. It's free range eggs, so you know, lots of flavor, really nutritious. I'm going to be using this in the waffles and for the scrambled eggs as well. For the waffles, I need to separate the yolks from the whites. So there are many ways you can do this. You could just crack it and then just move the yolk over from left to right in that half of the shell and the other half and just allow the egg white to just drip down. So this is one way you could do it. But if you want to, you could also break a small hole in the top of the egg and just gently shake down so that the white can fall through and then you'll have the yolk still in the shell. So all you need to do is just jiggle it a little bit and then the white will run out and then you'll have the yolk left. And of course there's other ways if you wanted to you could just crack the egg in your palm and then allow the whites just to run between your fingers into the bowl and then you just have the yolk right there in your palm that's another way all right so we have our eggs separated and then the dry ingredients guys here we have some all-purpose flour and i'm going to be adding some baking powder some salt and cornstarch that's the secret ingredient to get your waffles light and crispy because you don't want the waffles to be the exact same texture as pancakes you want them to be really light and crispy okay so sift everything and then give it a whisk to distribute everything So remember we separated the eggs, these are the egg yolks. I'm just going to go in with some sugar and some vanilla. You can use your cake mixer if you want to, but a whisk is fine. And then you're going to add some oil, canola oil or, you know, any other oil that doesn't have a strong flavor. You don't want an oil that's going to take over the taste of your waffles. Then we'll go in with some buttermilk. If you don't have buttermilk, you can use heavy cream with some vinegar added. All the details will be in the description box below the video. So we have our dry ingredients that was sifted and everything. So we're going to be adding the wet ingredients here. So just add them gradually, whisking in use your cake mixer if you want to try not to over mix and try not to add everything at once if your mixture is a little bit lumpy don't fret usually that happens with pancake or waffle mixtures just give it a good whisk and let it be it will be fine now another secret ingredient for making those waffles really perfect beating the egg whites by themselves this is going to make it light and airy 
and crispy so you're gonna whisk these or use your hand mixer until you get some firm peaks okay so you don't want it to be still runny it's gonna firm up and this we're just gonna gently fold it into that mixture that we have already so see it's nice and firm and all we need to do is just gradually fold it in gently you don't want to use a whisk or a mixer at this point and this is an extra step you know just to make the waffles really perfect because you could use a pancake mix in your waffle maker that's fine right however I prefer when my waffles are you know lighter and a little more crispy than my pancakes I want my pancakes to be fluffy and nice and thick with crispy edges the texture of the waffle yeah I, I need it to be just a little different so all the steps taken and um, using the cornstarch it really helps guys so definitely try it the waffle mixture is good but we need to check on that bacon make sure it's not burning you might need to flip it as I said these are very thick so I do need to flip them and then I'll put them back in the oven what you want to do is cut the bacon as long as you like it some people like very crispy bacon okay so just keep an eye on the bacon and then do what works for you now your waffle iron you want to make sure that it's greased and then you're just gonna pour the batter in there and spread it out okay I've had this waffle maker for years and I want to buy a new one the ones that flip because those tend to give really good results but I'm just not ready to get rid of this one yet you know as old as it is so I just put that in there close it up and what you can do is watch for the steam when you see less steam coming out the sides then that's a sign your waffles are good to go okay and then we'll just check on these these are beautiful I mean there are some little areas there that didn't get as much color as I'd want it to maybe I needed to put a little more oil like over on that corner there but that's fine these are still gonna be super delicious and nice and crispy as I said you can use pancake mix to make waffles but I feel like waffles the texture just should be different okay and then once your bacon is done you can drain off any excess oil and you are good to go Of course when you're making brunch you want to do the eggs last because you want them to be nice and hot and fresh so we'll just whisk up these really beautiful eggs and then I'll add a little cold butter the butter is just gonna melt while the eggs are cooking and it's gonna make them nice and silky and tender really good so I have some melted butter in my nonstick pan and this is over low to medium heat pour in those eggs and then you want to allow them to just sit on the surface of the pan for a little bit before you start moving them around allow them to set a little bit everyone has their favorite way of making scrambled eggs so do it the way you enjoy making it I just allow it to set for a bit and then I'll move around the edges slide it around the surface of the pan until everything starts to solidify and then I'll just break it up swirl it around just keep moving it and if I find that the egg is sticking to the pan all I'll do is just add a little piece of butter and then I'll just keep stirring it around it's very important that you leave the eggs for last minute because the waffles can stay warm in the oven or you could cover them with a kitchen towel and the bacon can be easily reheated However, the eggs should be nice and fresh. So these are some of the waffles I made guys and waffles can be had just the way they are or you could just dust on some icing sugar. You could also take it up another notch 
and add some fruits. Fresh fruit go really well with waffles. So strawberries, blueberries, I love this combination. You can even add some raspberries if you want to. And I'll just um, add a little more icing sugar just to make it nice and pretty. Of course, I prefer to just serve the syrup at the table because you don't want to get everything soggy. But look at that. It is just beautiful, guys. You can take the eggs off the stove and get your bacon and you are good to go. A really simple but nice brunch or breakfast. The bacon I got from the Whispering Meadows Family Farm, it's maple bacon, so it is sweet and salty. It's perfect, guys. Let me know in the comment section if you guys recommend any specific waffle makers because I'm on the hunt for a new one. Okay, thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time.